Dedication by Edward Quinted, read for LibriVox.org. To RLS, dear poet, far beyond the seas, the friend of children, their delight, the word to many a fireside, the joy which came on story night. Thy tenderness and love embraced all children of the human race, and many a heart beat true for thee, which knew thine own but not thy face. May every little child who loves to know the deeds brave men have done remember with a grateful heart, good Robert Louis Stevenson. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To the Baby by Edward Quinted, read for LibriVox.org. To the Baby. Here's to the baby with her little nose, pink cheeks, and blue eyes, and ten tiny toes. When the wind is howling all around the house, baby in her cradle is cozy as a mouse. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Bottle Green Imp by Edward Quintard. Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. There's a strange little fellow who lives in the sea, who is green from his head to the tip of his tail. He has five funny fingers, but cannot count three, and his cradle's the wave that is rocked by the gale. His hair is dank seaweed, his ears are two shells, he scares all the fishes and tickles the shrimp, and he skips up and down on the seashore and yells, for he's nobody's baby, this bottle green imp. He worries the seagulls, gets into their nest, and when they're not watching, runs off with their eggs then screams when they call him an unwelcome guest and then for revenge he pinches their legs he frightens the little crabs into a fit that's why they are pop-eyed and never walk straight then sits down and laughs till he fears he may split and has no regret for their pitiful fate and whenever the bottle green imp wants a ride he catches a porpoise and climbs on his back then pulling his ears makes him race with the tide and whenever he stops he gives him a whack oh the bottle green imp is a thing of the sea and you'd better look out when you're walking the shore for should he perchance ever meet you or me his acquaintance it might be quite well to ignore end of poem this recording is in the public domain the wind and the waves by Edward Quintard, read for LibriVox.org, by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. The wind came up on tiptoe, and found the sea at breast, with all the little baby waves, asleep upon its breast. The naughty wind it whispered, come out with me and play. But the big sea then made such a noise, it scared the wind away. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Baby's Ship by Edward Quintard. Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. The baby's ship came sailing across the deep blue sea its sails were spun of moonlight its banners floated free its anchors were of silver and burnished gold its spars the light that gleamed upon its masts were bright and glorious stars and hope stood at the anchor with love beside the wheel the crew were joy and happiness and faith rode at the keel and so the baby ship sailed on leaving the years and me god speed it ever thus dear child across life's trouble sea end of poem this recording is in the public domain an ocean lullaby by edward quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. The starfish are shining deep under the sea, and the little sea urchin crawls into the sand. 
and the queer little fiddler and tiny sea flea no longer are frolicking up on the land tis time that my dear little chub of a whale should pillow his head on a cool rocking wave and tuck up his flippers and sweet little tail to show how all good little whales should behave for the green baby lobsters are tucked in the mud and the bad little crabs have stopped pinching the shrimp and the only sea baby that will not be good is that nobody's baby the bottle green imp and he is so naughty oh dear little whale that he tickles the seagulls and gives them bad dreams then scampers away as he chases his tail and laughs in the seaweed to hear their weird screams then hush thee my baby wail down in the deep where storms cannot reach thee and safe from all fears you may rest precious whalekin and take a sweet sleep till the sun drinks the mist and the daylight appears end of poem this recording is in the public domain the island of nod by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by annalisa bodker the island of nod is a faraway land which is reached by a journey at night its king is the sandman who gives you a hand whenever your ship comes in sight the ship that you sail in is woven of gleams that trail from the wan moon afar tis blown by a breath from the valley of dreams in the light of the evening star at night old king sandman holds revel and feast for each who arrives as his guest he stands at the door for the greatest and least and the welcome you get is his best and when the glad morning is lighting the sky and people are stirring in bed the sandman just winks with his magical eye and drives every dream from your head end of poem this recording is in the public domain King Bumblebee by Edward Quintard, read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Old King Bumblebee is making his rounds and is going from flower to flower. You can hear him booming all over the grounds, and he never is idle an hour. In the basswood blossoms, he drinks deep and long and he next dips into the roses and he keeps on dreamily singing his song and he creeps down into the posies and when with all his honey bags filled he flies to his home in the forest he always takes care that no drop shall be spilled for his dealings are perfectly honest End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Little Crab Children by Edward Quintard. Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. The little crab children are a comical sight. They always walk sideways wherever they go and throw off their skins when they shrink and grow tight for this they must do in order to grow they always are fighting and when they get mad they pinch and they pull and they tear off their claws and if you should see them you'd surely be sad but if you asked why they'd say just because and some little children are like little crabs when they kick and they fight and pull out their hair and when they do this it's because they've got grabs 
and what they need most is a bit of fresh air end of poem this recording is in the public domain a question by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c just a wee kiss twixt the ear and the shoulder where babe's dimples invite to be bolder nestling her head in the arms of her holder what when the years go by when she is older who will the glad one be her head on his shoulder just a wee kiss on two eyes that are dancing wonder and joy each other enhancing laughing they greet an old uncle's advancing what when the years go by and a shy glancing is vouchsafed to the man who has just chanced the asking just a wee kiss on her lips like a cherry mouth puckered up like a ripe little berry with the witchery and grace of the winsomest fairy what when the years go by when at love's fairy the toll is a kiss and the password is mary end of poem this recording is in the public domain baby porpoises by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c the dearest little babies next to the baby whales are the little baby porpoises who always chase their tails they never kick up rumpuses and always go to school they never get the grumpuses and never break a rule whenever they are sent to bed they do just what they're told and really if it need be said they're just as good as gold end of poem this recording is in the public domain cloud children by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c the little cloud children live high in the air when they make all the shades and the showers and when they grow weary they come to the earth and visit the trees and the flowers the wind is their shepherd far up in the sky they linger and frolic and play and all through the night in the fold of the stars they sleep and they dream of the day when the morning awakes and creeps o'er the hills and the wind pipes them out of their bed the kiss of the sun on their soft little cheeks makes their dimples and lips rosy red end of poem this recording is in the public domain lilies in the garden by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c in the garden near the wall stand the lilies fair and tall and they bend and bow and sway in the sunshine all the day with a grace so debonair they like ladies wondrous fair bend and beckon through the day to the baby at her play but when in the evening sky stars peep from their home on high then the lilies in their beds say good night to sleepy heads end of poem this recording is in the public domain the shadows by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c 
The leaves dance in the moonlight, and in shadows on the lawn. They dance and bow, and bend and sway, from evening till the dawn. And when the sun has risen, they dance again and play, across the walk into my room, until the close of day. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Mother Seal's Advice by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Oh, you mustn't sit down too long on the ice, or perhaps you'll catch cold and your tail will turn white. Besides, you'll get lazy and that isn't nice, and you're apt to get cross and that's impolite remember your flippers whenever you dive keep them both well tucked in and your little tail straight when you come up to breathe you should slowly count five this will fill both your lungs and steady your gait beware of the bad little esquimaux boys they want you for supper and will fry you in fat they'll come when you're sleeping without any noise and catch you before you know what they are at and when you are waddling about in the snow and a polar bear sees you and quickens his pace don't stop to consider for soon you will know that the best thing for you is to win in the race end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Baby Sea Urchins by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. The baby sea urchins, with their rough and prickly backs, are always funny-looking, for their shells are full of tacks, which stick into your fingers, if, while walking on the shore, you should stop and rashly venture on a peep in through their door end of poem this recording is in the public domain the farmer's house by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by tom parker the farmer's house upon the hill has lots of pretty dairy maids it's white without and clean within and has green doors and window shades the dairy maids they milk the cows and put the milk in wooden vats then churn and churn until they get the round and yellow butter pats and then the farmer mounts his cart and just before the town awakes he leaves the butter at the door for children who eat griddle cakes end of poem this recording is in the public domain bed picnic by Edward Quintard, read for LibriVox.org, by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. When we children go to bed, we take cook's good gingerbread, and when nurse puts out the light, laugh at each delicious bite. Then with finger and with thumb, pick up each remaining crumb, lest when nurse returns at day, she should turn about and say i wonder how those mice i dread got into cook's good gingerbread end of poem this recording is in the public domain the little rag baby by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c the little rag baby has gone to his bed in the doll's house under the stairs he's asleep near the ark where old noah and his wife kept the monkeys the cows and the bears the little rag baby always dreams the same dream 
about rags and old tatters of silk and he has a queer spot on the side of his nose for once he fell into the milk he never gets tired or hungry or cross and always is ready to play he's very polite and most willing to hear whatever the baby may say and when the first rays of the daylight appear he blinks with his two little eyes and waits for the baby to come down the stairs to give him a morning surprise end of poem this recording is in the public domain the teeter snipe by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c oh the tiny teeter snipe that whistles to the gale and runs along the ocean beach and jerks his perky tail he stands upon long slender legs as black as black can be and though he's but a little bird he's a baby of the sea at first he runs then stops a bit then runs along still more and is the cutest little bird that hops along the shore he doesn't mind the ocean with its big and tumbling wave for while he's but a teeter snipe yet he is very brave end of poem this recording is in the public domain the peddler by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c collar buttons collar buttons for all who wish to buy a paper full for ten cents you'll need them by and by every one is genuine ivory and gold and if you don't buy quickly all will soon be sold you can wear them for your shirt studs or wear them in your sleeves they're all so very beautiful they cannot fail to please every one is genuine ivory and gold and if you don't buy quickly all will soon be sold so buy them for your sweetheart or buy them for your friend or buy them for your father you'll only have to spend ten cents for a paperful ivory and gold and if you don't buy quickly all will soon be sold collar buttons collar buttons for all who wish to buy a paper full for ten cents you'll need them by and by end of poem this recording is in the public domain the baby hippopotamus by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c oh the baby hippopotamus he really makes an awful fuss whenever he is taken to the water for a bath he never uses soap or suds but sits and wallows in the muds to see him as he blinks his eyes would really make you laugh oh the baby hippopotamus is altogether scandalous and why his mother thinks him sweet is hard to understand for should he fall asleep and snore you'd hear him for a mile or more for the noise he'd make believe me would be louder than the band end of poem this recording is in the public domain counterpane country by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c when nurse has tucked me up in bed and left me in the dark and said good night you sleepy head but wake me with the lark 
Then with my knees I mountains make, all white and capped with snow, and on the top I place some cake, safe from each lurking foe. And then I play that my two hands are sturdy mountain ears, that journey on through unknown lands, past frozen fields and meres. At last the mountain side they climb, and reach the topmost peak where they will surely find in time the treasure which they seek end of poem this recording is in the public domain the lobster ghost by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by betty b a curious little lobster went walking on the sand he met another lobster to whom he gave his hand and said how very strange it seems up here upon the land then came another lobster as red as red could be who frightened them so badly they scampered back to sea for the other little lobsters were green as green could be the lobster read a sad farewell waved to the deep blue sea and thus he spake unto his friends don't be afraid of me i'm nothing but an empty shell and but a ghost said he a wicked man lured me to shore by an outrageous plot and when he got me on the beach he made me rather hot for sad as it may be to tell he boiled me in a pot moral if fate makes you a lobster be careful of your ways don't rashly change surroundings or you may end your days as did this poor crustacean in lobster mayonnaise end of poem this recording is in the public domain the nightmare by edward quintard read for LibriVox org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c when children have been naughty taking jam when they've been told they must keep from out the pantry and you hear the cookie scold when the pie crust has been broken and likewise the jelly mold you may know the nightmare's coming with its terrors manifold for the nightmare is a creature with big and staring eyes and it visits little children who put fingers into pies it lives on bad digestions on restless dreams and sighs and it always laughs when people scream and wake up with oh my's end of home this recording is in the public domain the man in the moon by edward quintard read for LibriVox .org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c oh the man in the moon plays hide and go seek with the clouds that chase over the sky and he winks at the stars and looks mighty meek whilst he sings them a moon lullaby he kisses the water that's going to sleep until it breaks out in a smile then darts down his beam where the waterfalls leap or rests on the treetops a while when the baby's asleep he creeps into its room to see if it's well tucked in bed then chases the shadows and drives out the gloom and slips a dream into its head he's a funny old fellow that man in the moon he's a wrinkled and old and quite blue he's never behind hand nor rises too soon and he's cool as a cucumber too end of poem this recording is in the public domain trinity bells by edward quintard read for LibriVox .org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c trinity bells trinity bells how sweetly their music rises and swells 
ringing from out the old church tower chiming all day from hour to hour over the rush and the hurry of feet right at the head of the old city street the clear chimes of the bells the deep tones of the bells the trinity 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 bells trinity bells trinity bells how sweetly their music rises and swells now pealing forth in gay wedding marches for bridegroom and bride who stand under its arches now wildly clashing a happy new year bidding all people to be of good cheer the clear chimes of the bells the deep tones of the bells the trinity 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 bells trinity bells trinity bells how sweetly their music rises and swells singing the song of to-day and the morrow telling the tale of man's joy and his sorrow merrily singing the day just begun solemnly tolling the day that is done the clear chimes of the bells the deep tones of the bells the trinity 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 bells end of poem this recording is in the public domain A song by Edward Quintard, read for LibriVox.org by Mary Patterson. A song. Oh, it's high ho, Mary, and a day when the sun shines blithe and cheery and the clouds are blown away. Come, all ye jolly mariners who never mind a blow. Oh, it's high ho, Mary, and away we go. Oh, it's high ho, Mary, and a day when all the merry lassies and the laddies are at play when the maypole stands all garnished and they're waiting in a row oh it's high ho mary and away we go oh it's high ho mary and a day when the north wind pipes and whistles and jack frost has come to stay when the mistletoe and holly are trailing high and low oh it's high ho mary and away we go end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Little Boy Blue by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Mary Patterson Little Boy Blue Oh, Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn Just once again as the sun goes down Let me hear its sweet echo, clear and low as i did in the days of long ago for the years have gone by o oh little boy blue and like the pied piper you've stolen away the dear little boy i used to know in the days and years of long ago and the music you've left o oh little boy blue is the sob that falls on a broken heart while the tears rise up to a mother's eyes as memory sings its lost lullabies and weary and worn with travel and care and tired and foresore we long for rest but little boy blue oh little boy blue if you blow your horn we will follow you end of poem this recording is in the public domain King Goldenrod by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Mary Patterson King Goldenrod On alchemist's bold is King Goldenrod, whose secrets have never been told. The metals and fields at his magical nod turn into fair gardens of gold. The hills where he raises his golden bloom are bathed in a radiant light and the veils where he tosses his feathery plume seem to dance in a wild delight the wizard of autumn his touch is like spring giving joy to the barren plain a monarch whose coming to earth doth bring the wealth of a glorious reign end of poem this recording is in the public domain
rain by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by phil schempf rain 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 on the porch and window pane the wind doth blow and the time goes slow till the sun comes back again rain 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 on the fickle weather vane the flowers grow in their beds below and wheat comes up on the plain rain 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 on the earth and deep blue main the sailor knows when the rainbow shows that the sun will shine again end of poem this recording is in the public domain baby tadpole by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c oh the tiny baby tadpole has a funny little tail and his home is a pool near some bog where he dives about and swims as if he were a whale till presently he turns into a frog for soon his tail grows shorter and shrivels to a knob next come his feet and then his tiny eyes pop out like two bright buttons and before you can say bob he's a jolly little green frog catching flies end of poem this recording is in the public domain the thunder people by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by Annalisa Bodker. The clouds are the grim thunder people. On the wings of the storm they fly. They sweep round the house and the steeple and darken the summer sky. They growl and they roar and they grumble as lions do over their prey. And when they grow tired, they tumble and wet all the meadows and hay at times they are bad desperadoes when hooded in terrible cloaks they sweep down in mighty tornadoes and tear up great forests of oaks the flash of their eyes is the lightning the crash of the thunder their laugh fierce people who will not stand trifling nor can they be put off with chaff end of poem this recording is in the public domain. My Dog and I by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Betty B. My dog and I are staunchest friends. We mind not wind nor weather. Content with what our maker sends, so long as we're together. My dog and I. We do not ask from day to day what chance or time may render but take things as they come our way and thank the gracious sender my dog and i in meadows fields by cliffs and scars we have our fill of pleasure and underneath the silent stars we also find rare treasure my dog and i the raging storm oft spoils the chase which we have undertaken yet never is there time or place where our fond love is shaken my dog and i and so we journey day by day unheedful of the weather content with what shall come our way my dog and i together my dog and i end of poem this recording is in the public domain the stars by edward quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. When the silent shadows creep slowly up the garden wall, and the sun has gone to sleep, and the night spreads over all, then the little stars come out just to see what you're about. Then they peep at you so still lighting up the darkened skies creeping up behind the hill like so many fireflies 
that you'd never dream that they were just miles and miles away end of poem this recording is in the public domain lullaby by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c hush baby hush dews upon the flowers are falling shepherds home their lambs are calling twilight shades are gently stealing list the evening bells are pealing hush baby hush sleep baby sleep drowsy tinklings now are dying breezes of the night are sighing one by one the stars are peeping in their nests the birds are sleeping sleep baby sleep end of poem this recording is in the public domain the organ grinder by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c organ grinder organ grinder turning grinding all the day sometimes all your tunes are somber then again they're blithe and gay now your tune is annie laurie next it is some dismal strain yet we children should be sorry if you did not come again sometimes you are thrown a penny then perhaps you get a dime many times you don't get any still you grind and bid your time little children on the sidewalk join their eager hands and dance older people stop their side talk to enjoy a moment's glance and the monkey little jocko sits beside you with a grin not to give him when he begs so seems to all his friends a sin organ grinder organ grinder if you cannot always play do not from us ever wander but come back another day end of poem this recording is in the public domain supper time by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by linda marie nielsen vancouver b c when nurse brings me my bowl of milk i play i am a fisherman each tiny crumb and piece of bread i catch as quickly as i can my net is just my silver spoon sometimes i catch a mighty whale and hungry i ne'er go to bed for my good luck does never fail when i have taken all the fish nurse gives me some nice gingerbread and when i finish this i say good night and go up to my bed if every little boy and girl could catch such sweet and wholesome food while playing they were fishermen they'd surely grow up strong and good end of poem this recording is in the public domain the valley of dreams by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by annalisa bodker the valley of dreams is a vale far away where the good little children all go when weary of work and tired of play and the breezes of night softly blow and the flowers that bloom in that land of delight never fade and the birds never die and the rivers and brooks ever flow in the sight of a cloudless and beautiful sky and the song of the birds seems the sweetest there and the whispering leaves breathe a tune that rises and falls on the calm summer air and faints in the light of the moon 
and the children who visit this valley of rest never know either sorrow or pain for they wander around in the paths they love best impatient to find them again end of poem this recording is in the public domain fire people by edward quintard read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson when the night drops from the sky and the shades are tightly drawn and the little firefly lights his lantern on the lawn then we children round the hearth watch the fire people play wondrous people who come forth in their marvellous array first the genie smoke doth rise wreathing up the chimney flue and his spirit upward flies followed by a flame of blue next the wood is caught and loud laugh the fire imps in glee as they join the merry crowd which the blazing logs set free how they dance and jump and snap like a thousand fiery dogs madly lap the hissing sap oozing from the burning logs and with glowing eyes they gleam down where all the cinders lie leaping upward with a scream when as sparks they fiercely fly suddenly a rumbling sound issues from the mount of coal sounds like those which wild beasts bound make when they growl forth their dole then the mountain splits in two and from out the smoking rent a great dragon comes in view raging and on mischief bent now the flames light up the room and amidst the lurid flare castles crash and sink to doom towers topple in the glare yet next day should you but glance where the fire people play you should see not but expanse of burnt ashes cold and gray End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Summer Shower by Edward Quintard. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. It is raining on the windows and raining on the walks. It is raining on the meadows and on the hollyhocks. It is raining on the housetops and on the public square. And everybody will get wet when going to the fair but when the sun comes out again the rain will surely cease and then the dusty streets will be as white as any fleece and many pretty maids will come from all the distant towns dressed in their latest bonnets and their very smartest gowns end of poem this recording is in the public domain the changing shadows by edward quintard read for LibriVox .org. By Larry Wilson. See the shadows on the wall rise and fall, rise and fall, making all fantastic shapes from gray camels to black apes, and again in form defiant they appear like some huge giant whose long arms in fitful measure seem to move in search of pleasure. Thus we children in the bed watch the shadows overhead as they dance and disappear, and it seems so very queer that they melt into the air and come back almost anywhere end of poem this recording is in the public domain the bridge by edward quintard read for librivox .org by larry wilson over the bridge over the bridge while the waters surge below over the bridge the people march each day to and fro the sound and tread of a thousand feet to the city's dust and moil the music which reaches the ears of men is the song of the feet of toil work 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 for each man staunch and true work 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 god gives it for man to do and many a weary foot there goes over the bridge of sighs but the man who works and never shirks is the one that wins the prize up from the earth looms the mighty bridge and its towers look toward sea when the men of war and the merchant ships fly the flag of liberty and he who passes along his way with awe is often mute as he hears the wind through the cable sing like the song of a mighty lute strive 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 press forward with the day strive 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 let not your heart dismay while many a one has crossed the bridge and many have lost their way that one alone can win the goal who marches whilst he may bold is the leap of the mighty bridge to the freedom of space and sky and its arches ring with the tramp of feet incessantly passing by 
while here beneath the silent stars when the winds on the cables play this is the song which is borne along and this is what they say rest 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 for the toilers quest is through rest 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 for each man good and true though many a weary heart goes there over the bridge in quest yet peace will come to all at last and to each toiler rest end of poem this recording is in the public domain the wind by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by larry wilson o wind that sings and sighs and wails high up amongst the eaves o fickle wind now sad now gay that whispers to the leaves at times you creep along the grass to seek the daffodils and then again you run away and blow across the hills you do not seem to have a home but live just anywhere and when upon a frolic bent you toss about my hair but sometimes you act very bad and shriek and moan and shout until we children scarcely know mad wind what you're about you blow in mighty hurricanes that sink great ships at sea o oh, wicked wind this really is as cruel as can be end of poem this recording is in the public domain Over the Hills and Far Away by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson Over the Hills and Far Away From the years without guile or art Comes the call again of the old refrain Which once spoke to our eager heart Over the Hills and Far Away Far Away Over the Hills Over the Hills and Far Away Have passed all our childhood's fears Our laughter and mirth and the blossoms of earth and we gaze through the vista of years over the hills and far away far away over the hills over the hills and far away live the dreams of forgotten days and their glories rise to our wearied eyes as we search through life's tangled maze over the hills and far away far away over the hills over the hills and far away in the light of the setting sun fond memory sings of departed things as the stars proclaim day is done over the hills and far away far away over the hills end of poem this recording is in the public domain lullaby by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by annalisa bodker the moon riseth clear o'er the sleeping town and each bird is asleep in its nest and the river is singing its old lullaby and the light has died out in the west then hush thee my darling content in my arms nestle close to thy mother's breast for the dear god above who loveth us all will guard my sweet little one's rest the shepherds have taken their lambs to the fold and the stars twinkle deep in the sky and all voices are still and each broken wing soothed and all sorrow and pain has gone by then hush thee my darling content in my arms nestle close to thy mother's breast for the dear god above who loveth us all will guard my sweet little one's rest end of poem this recording is in the public domain the sandman by edward quintard read for librivox dot org by lori wilson oh the island of nod and the valley of dreams lie hid in the ocean of sleep and the sandman's the pilot who comes every night to ferry you over the deep his call is so gentle that you never know when he comes with his magical sand for each tiny grain that he drops in your eye is a dream from the hushaby land at his touch all the cares and the sorrows of day depart on the wings of the night and before you're aware you float down on a dream to the valleys and dells of delight 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Aftermath by Edward Quintard Read for LibriVox.org By Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. Gray sea and wild waste And a songless sky Wind through the leafless trees Alone my heart and I Lad's heart that once was mine Now lost for a Throw back an echo still Years long passed by what lingers sad and lone wrapped in the gloom man's heart o oh lad o oh mine dreary as doom end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of sea babies and other babies by edward quintard